Hey folks, Quilly Keen here with a quick video telling you how you can play Railroad Tycoon 3 on modern computers running Vista or Windows 7 or Windows 8. Now, if you go to Steam, for example, and you buy this game, or you go to buy this game, it will explicitly tell you this game is not compatible with Vista or 7 or 8. And this is sort of true, but not exactly true. Um, the problem is there's a specific function, a specific feature in Railroad Tycoon 3 that is not compatible with certain video cards, especially NVIDIA video cards. And that is to say, it's the hardware transform and lighting engine that you can see over here. And to play this game on computers with those video cards, you need to disable the hardware transform and lighting. And the problem is, to get here, to be able to disable this, you have to be able to get into the game. The problem is you'll start the game, it'll crash instantly. So there's two different ways to resolve this issue. The first thing you can do is actually get a config file from the internet that has this turned off for you. So let's see what I'm talking about. If you go into Steam and you go into your Railroad Tycoon 3 properties here, and you go into local files, you can go to browse local files and that will open your, your local finder over here. And this will show you your files. And if you go into data and then configuration, you will see there are some config files over here that basically set up what your settings are. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip up these two files over here. Um, and I am going to provide a link in the description down below that has this zip file here, which contains these two files. And you want to put it in this exact directory. So again, you want to go to Railroad Tycoon, right click, go to properties, then go to your local files tab, browse local files. This will bring you to your installation directory for Railroad Tycoon 3. You can then go into data and configuration. If for any reason you don't have the game through Steam like I do, for example, then just go to the installed directory, which is probably under C slash program files, that sort of thing. And then you're just going to take the zip files and you're going to extract these two files and just install them in there. You might not have 7-zip like I do. You might have some just the built-in windows, uh, which would be... Um, actually don't know but anyway you can you'll get those two files and just overwrite these two files these two configuration files and then if you start the game the hardware texture and lighting should be disabled which should enable you to run the game if for some reason that doesn't work there if, if for some reason my config files don't work plan b is you can go to the hawk and badger railroad website it's hawkdog.com this is the site to go to for your, all your railroad tycoon stuff and if you go here they've got a download page this design is like awesome it's like straight out of the 90s um, if you go down here you will find official patches and the expansion for example which is quite handy you don't need any of this on uh, if you've had the Steam version. You're already, you have Coast to Coast and you have the 1.05 patch. In fact, that's the problem. Interestingly enough, if you're running version 1.03 or earlier, then you should be able to, to launch the game successfully and then disable the hardware transform and lighting at that point. It's only with patch 0 0.04 and 5 that it crashes instantly and doesn't let you go into the menu. Um, so, and on Steam, you are patched to this auto automatically and you also have the Coast to Coast expansion. There's also an unofficial patch that potentially fixes certain glitches. But more importantly here, if you check the Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 fix, this fix that you download is that engine.config file, the same one I'm going to put in the description down below. So you can go ahead and grab either one you're comfortable with. Also, you'll notice this blurry texture fix. And in fact, I had that problem. Apparently, Railroad Tycoon has problems uh, detecting how much system memory or how much video card memory you have. Uh, if you have very you know, a modern video card, just has too much and it screws up. By downloading this texture fix, what it will give you that file simply contains this DLL, this D3D8 DLL. This is a DirectX, like the 3D DirectX version 8 DLL. And it has a slight patch applied to it where it always tells the game, hey, I only have 512 megs, which is the maximum that Railroad Tycoon can sort of respond to. And so you're gonna extract that file from this download here and you can drop it. It's just got this one file, drop it in this directory. And then when you launch Railroad Tycoon, you will no longer have a blurry texture at all and everything will be wonderful. So there's all that sort of stuff here. Plus just a great website in general. They've got some extra maps. It's kind of awesome. Um, if for some reason this config file fix does not work for you, okay? If downloading this version or the one that I'll be supplying uh, does not work for you, then the final solution is to find 
a copy of the version 1.03 executable. And now most copies of that, of course, would require a CD-ROM because it's, you know, it's an older game and it would have the CD copy protection. If in some fashion you can find a version of the 1.03 executable for the game that does not require a CD-ROM at all, then you could drop it in this directory with a different name, for example, RT3-2 or something like that. You could execute that version of the game and that would launch the game, allowing you to go to the menu and turn off that checkbox. Um, but you wouldn't actually want to play the game from that executable because it's not compatible with like everything else that you've got patched. At that point, you'd want to quit the game and play with your normal executable and everything would be groovy. So there's all the different ways that you can get Railroad Tycoon 3 to work on modern versions of Windows. Uh, check the links down below. I will be uh, providing these, uh, these, these links to these websites and my particular zip configuration file. And uh, there you go. Hope uh, you have luck running on your computer. If you have any more problems and you feel the urge to ask me questions in the comments or email me for technical support, please don't do that. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.